Satisfaction. Wow. Uh, what's going on guys? Uh, real quick, before we get into this week's episode, quick disclaimer, if you follow me exclusively for my films or my surf content, this week's video is not that. This week's video is about action cameras, skiing, and a vlog while it's all going down. So if you're interested in that, stick around. Exciting episode this week, we're talking cameras, and for as long as I've been into filmmaking, there has been three categories of cameras that I choose to use for my filming, and that is drones, DSLRs, and action cameras. These are all action cameras. I use drones to switch up angles and get really nice establishing shots. I use DSLRs to get my most cinematic shots and when I'm doing talking head like right now. And then I use action cameras for when I don't want the camera to become an interruption in whatever it is I'm doing. And this week it is an absolute privilege to tell you that one of my favorite companies on earth, DJI, the same company that makes all the drones, just hooked me up with their all new action camera and it's called the DJI Osmo Action 3. Everything you're about to see was captured exclusively on the Osmo Action 3. So for like the last week and a half, I've been uh, testing the camera out and I'm super impressed. It's been super fun to use, super high quality. I've gotten some awesome shots and uh, today I figured it would be fun to go skiing and uh, kind of vlog the entire day on the Osmo 3. I don't know, throw up tips and tricks for anyone who owns it, teach you guys how to shoot with it in the snow, because it's an amazing piece of tech, and whenever a new amazing piece of camera tech comes out, I get excited. So that's what we're doing today. It's really cold, and I'm really tired. Oh, it's super, uh, super cold. It's really, it's really, really cold. See, last night, uh, I was up till like 4 a.m. editing the Sickos video, and uh, I've only gotten about four hours of sleep. It's only about 7.30 a.m. now. All my friends ditched me, so I woke up, rolled out of bed, incredibly exhausted. I was like, oh, how much did it snow? And I checked the report, and it was like seven inches. Oh. So I rallied and uh, made a coffee, and now I'm going solo, meeting the boys vlogging it. It's been a minute, but damn it feels good. It really feels like one of those moments where I just activated way too hard and like totally forgot something. For any of the techie camera nerds out there, right now I'm shooting on 4K 24 FPS uh, in the color profile of what I believe is called d -cine like here. Whenever I'm talking to the camera, whenever I'm vlogging, I don't need slow motion, so 24 FPS is my go-to time base because it looks smoother, it looks butterier, looks better in my opinion, and then 4K is just the highest quality that the camera can output. That's what I'm shooting for when I'm shooting for a vlog. Oh man, I'm tired dude. Hey dude. But you know what? Tiredness goes away when you're doing deep pow turns with your boy. What bluebird powder day? All right, well, we finally made it after some serious debacles. I got turned around in the line, put in the bottom parking lot. I'm running real late now, and uh, there's a lot of people. So I might have missed the powder completely, which would totally suck, but it'll be all right. I'm gonna meet up with the boys, and it's gonna be fun either way. Um, no time for talking. I gotta get the gear on. Whew, one sec. Guys, remember how I said I thought I was forgetting something? It really feels like one of those moments where I just activated way too hard. And like, totally forgot something. I forgot my entire ski bag.
What the fuck? Alright, I feel like the biggest idiot of all time. You guys probably think I'm a massive stoner. I'm not. I'm just like this. I don't even smoke weed. So, no ski bag means I have no boots, I have no helmet, I have no goggles, I have no gloves, I have no jacket. I got my skis and my ski poles, I've got a sweatshirt and ski pants. So all I need to track down really for necessity is gloves, goggles, and boots. And I made a call to Reese and Sean and they said they got me covered. Uh, and then I need to go into the rental center to rent some boots. So I think the dream is still alive. Keep you updated. I can't find Reese's truck. Everything's going to shit. Oh, that's not his truck. God damn it. I can't find his car. He sent me a pin. Oh my God, dude, it was so far in the back. Found it. Oh my God, I was looking at the total spot. Jesus, okay. They got gear for me, so I'm gonna change into the gear and then I gotta go to the rental shop and get boots. This is insane, but I found the car. Quest one complete of like three more to go. Then we're skiing. Okay, got gear. I got goggles from Sean and gloves from Reese after an hour of looking for their car. Holy shit. Guys, remember I said I was gonna get up here at like 9.15? Well, it's 11 a.m. now, so that that's that. But hey, what would a Jackson Lebsack video be without me doing something stupid and stuff going horribly wrong? It'd be nothing. It'd be like every other vlog out there, perfect and beautiful. Wouldn't that be nice? Been in the mountain for probably three hours. <laughs> and we're finally going skiing. Oh my God. Gotta find the boys. Missed all the powder. Can guarantee you that much. Live and direct, we are on. Got massive powder skis on a Bluebird groomer day. Cause I missed all the powder. I'll touch base in a sec. Hey look, I found Reese. <laughs> Three hours later guys. Seriously. Look at this day though guys, holy shit. That's what we're talking about, the dream. The river's socked in in the clouds over there. When you get up to the mountain, oftentimes in the winter, it's an inversion. Beautiful blue skies up here. And you live in the dream with your homies. I'm gonna jump into the edit here probably pretty soon. Like I said, I'll have like the settings kind of popping up in the bottom left corner on what I'm filming with. But uh, for follow cams, you wanna use 4K 120 pretty much always. As long as you get a high resolution and a high frame rate, that's pretty much the go-to. And this camera's got 4K 120, so I think it's gonna look super crisp. You also want to stay pretty close together, like a distance of like, I don't know, maybe five feet is the money. Follow cam action going down. Let's ride, let's film the boys. super delayed even though we didn't get any powder it's going great follow cams are going down this next run I'm gonna shoot in 1080 240 got some other boys I'm gonna meet up with 1080 240 is what you want to do if you want to exaggerate the slow-mo and get that super crisp super slow motion but you're sacrificing a bit of quality in return with that being said get a lot more slow-mo it's good too Wide. That allows for the most immersive view and really feels like you're in my eyes. I'm gonna pop it off on the top uh, mount here. Don't even have to look. I feel it magnetically cinch, push down, and it locks. Now we're in POV mode, just like that. So sick. Good, but weird. It's been a minute. Bro, what's up? Yeah. How are you? You guys, 
I hope you enjoyed uh, that little vlog slash tutorial slash No, honestly guys, that was so much fun to make. Uh, I hope you learned some new things. I hope the camera was as impressive to you as it was to me. I, I can't believe how well it worked. I can't believe some of the features that it has on it. And more than anything, I can't believe, honestly, that I had the opportunity to work with DJI on this video. I'm not even kidding you. Um, that is like such a big deal dream come true for me to work with someone of the caliber of, of DJI, like I've been lucky enough to work with some really cool companies in my career and some really cool people in my career, but the company that's at the forefront of making drones and camera technology to reach out to me for a video uh, and showcase their new camera is, I mean, I'm honored. I'm honestly honored. So thank you DJI, that was so much fun, that was so cool. I wanted to bring the end of this video back to my desk to kind of walk anyone who's interested through a couple more features that was hard for me to explain on the mountain, but things that I think are worth being noted and or learning about. First and foremost, I wanna show you guys the mounting system. I kind of displayed it when I switched the camera to my helmet, but to really accurately display it, you gotta see how this thing works. So we got a pull mount here, we got the camera here, check it out. Magnet, push down, and it clips. This isn't going anywhere. I could, I'm cranking that as hard as I could. It is rock solid. And then to get it undone, you just press right here and pull. When you have big ski gloves on, that makes it so much better than dealing with any sort of twist screw or anything. Just the magnetic clip and cinch is insane, especially when you have a bunch of different mounts lined up. For example, absolute game changer in the world of snow sports. Boom, I'm getting my follow cam. Oh, Reese, triple backflip McTwist, insane. Wait a minute, I'm about to hit an insane kicker. Let me just unclip and uh, feel around for a second. Oh, magnet cinch, POV mode. I didn't have to screw anything. That's insane. Sorry, I got really excited about that and just wanted to accurately uh, display it on camera here. Other cool feature and key one in my opinion. Snow sports uh, obviously is gonna be cold. Batteries generally struggle in the cold, but I'm so impressed with the batteries on these. I filmed an entire day uh, and only went through one battery. From the moment I left my house to the end of the day skiing, I went through one battery and this package comes with three. On top of that, this package is a power bank. So your batteries are sitting in here, warm and toasty in your pocket. Then when you switch batteries, boom, so yeah, I just swap batteries and then this battery's getting low or say I'm on my last battery and it's getting low. I can actually take this cord here, plug it in here, plug it into the camera here, and now I'm charging my camera from my battery power bank all in my pocket. I believe they're advertising that in 18 minutes your battery will become 80% charged. And then one more thing I want to touch on was the reliability of the camera and the usability and the way it worked was just flawless. Never an error, never a freeze, never a random shut off. Uh, everything worked as should. I mean, it was, it was a perfect camera. So DJI, you did it again. This video is not supposed to be a review at all. Um, I'm honestly not trying to sell you on the product. I'm just trying to show you how to use it, but I'm so psyched about it that I wanted to run you through um, these things that really blew my mind. Thank you DJI once again for sponsoring this video. Uh, I truly am honored to have worked with you. I hope we can continue to do stuff in the future amazing camera and my friends thank you so much for watching if you made it this far i really appreciate you guys drop a drop a like i almost said drop a like drop a like hit the subscribe button if you you know like what i'm doing and i'll see you next week